So a few weeks back, I mentioned I wanted to do a video of me replacing the strings on my uke. Um, now, if there's one thing I enjoy more than anything, it's routine maintenance. Mundane routine maintenance. And I know a lot of people probably won't agree with me on this, but I just, I like doing it. Like, I like changing the oil in my car and changing the PCV valve, the, the uh, spark plugs and the, the brake pads. So as it goes, there's also a lot of routine maintenance that goes into, uh, into instruments. And so today I wanted to replace the strings on the uke and clean it up a bit uh, while, while the strings are off. So I've already sent out our friend Renard to the, uh, the folk music shop down in Claremont to pick up some strings for me. And today he'll be picking up uh, two classical guitar strings for my uke and I'll show you in a minute what exactly I'm going to do with it. And some guitar strings for the guitar. Um, I wanted to try and experiment a little bit with uh, what I'm going to be doing with the strings on the uke. Um, I normally just pick up a pack of Aquila tenor strings and then get a classic guitar string for the low G string. But today I'm going to try a different set of strings. I actually uh, I found this pack of Worth strings in my desk. I don't remember exactly where it came from. Someone gave this to me a while back, but I never really got around to using them and I sort of just forgot that they were there. But now that I have them, I go, I'm gonna go ahead and try them. I also wanted to try with the first two strings, the G and the C string, I want them to be wound. So I'm getting two uh, classic guitar strings. It's gonna be the D and G string respectively. And we'll see how that turns out. Maybe hopefully it'll turn out great. If it, if it turns out like crap, then probably I'll just end up putting the old strings back on. So while my assistant uh, Renard is out in Claremont right now picking up some strings, we'll go ahead and get the uke set up and started. So while we wait for him to return, I'm going to go ahead and start removing these old strings. And what I like to do is I like to clean up the, uh, the body and the fretboard while the strings are off. It's one of those might as well uh, get it done kind of things. There you go, see it's all loose. So what's going to end up happening is uh, when Renard gets back, I asked him to pick up two classical guitar strings. It's going to be a uh, D string and the G string. Is it like D, E, A, D, G? Yeah, it's a D and G string. The D string is going to go over here in lieu of the, uh, the G, the uke G string. And it's going to act like a low G. And the G string on the guitar is going to act in lieu of the C string, which we have right here. And what I'm hoping to accomplish is that we'll have two wound strings on the top for more better bass, I guess. So when you hit it, it uh, you know it does all sorts of bassy things. And uh, um, I found a packet of Worth strings down here that I don't know where it came from, and apparently I don't know where it went. Oh, here they are. But I plan to replace these two strings right here, the E and the A, with the Worth strings. And then, like I said, this is completely experimental, and I want to see how it's going to sound. It's probably going to sound really cool, or it might sound like crap. So, I know I could just cut the strings off, but I didn't want to do that, since this is experimental, like I said. It I might not enjoy the sound as much and end up putting up putting these uh, the old strings back on. Okay, so now that I got the strings off, we uh, we want to start by cleaning off the body and the fretboard. Um, I've got my little Dunlop 
System 65 guitar kit tech kit here. Pretty cool. It came with a rag or two. Uh, it came with two towels that I can't find anymore. Uh, it came with this crank, uh, this string conditioner right here, and these two bottles. This one's the guitar polish and cleaner, and this one is the ultimate lemon oil for the fretboard. Go ahead and just take the dust off. Now normally a lot of people like to use like uh, the microfiber towels and whatever, but I just use a paper towel because I mean I end up hitting it anyway, so it's not really a big deal to me. Um, Yeah, look how disgusting that is. So I just got done removing the strings and cleaning out all the, uh, the parts. I cleaned the body and the fretboard and everything. Now I'm just gonna apply some of this oil onto the fretboard to uh, keep it conditioned. And we'll see how our friend is doing with the strings. And hopefully he comes through soon because he's been gone for a while. I also like to put it on the bridge, just because I figured it's the same wood, it's also exposed. Uh, it's just good to, to keep these things uh, conditioned. And there you go. Um, let's see how our friend is doing. Bernard, where are you at? It's been six hours. I sent you out hiking. What do you mean you went hiking? But you don't even have to go through a mountain pass to get to Claremont. It's like half an hour away. <sighs> yeah, okay, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up and get home. Alright, bye. Bye. Well, what'd you expect? He is a wild animal. You sent him out to go do an errand, of course he's gonna go wander off. Should have sent someone more domesticated and trained. Like me. Aren't you a coyote that pretended to be a dog so that you could get adopted? Well, you were the one that got caught rummaging through the garbage, so you really can't say nothing. Yeah, but I don't deny that I was hungry. Didn't I ask you too earlier if you wanted to go to Claremont and pick up some strings for me, but you didn't want to go because you wanted to eat and drink? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, unfortunately today we weren't able to restring our ukulele and the guitar as well due to some circumstances involving a canid vulpine friend who decided to go off on a hike instead of picking up strings. But um, I'm going to show you what we were able to do today. We were able to take, uh, remove the strings on the uke and we cleaned up the body a little bit. I also was able to do the same thing for the, uh, the guitar here. Um, same process. Um, it's going to be different once we put on the strings since this has a steel string, but we'll see that once the strings come in. But uh, yeah, please stay tuned for part two, and hopefully the, this time we won't get distracted. Also, I wanted to mention that I do have a Facebook page, so please visit the link. It's down in the description. I also have it uh, put up on the screen right now. Um, please be sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you later days.